Hey guys, my name is Kaylee. I'm a first year kindergarten teacher and welcome to Kindergarten with Kaylee. Welcome to my official classroom tour 2023-2024. This is long awaited. Classroom setup was a long time ago. It is now January. Happy New Year, by the way. So excited for 2024. My classroom is not perfect. It's not exactly where I'd want it to be, but I can't keep saying that. I keep saying that I'm just not, I'm never going to film it. So I just need to film it even though it's not perfect. Okay. Don't judge me for the little areas that are messy. I do teach kindergarten and they aren't the cleanest people. I tried to clean it as best as I can, but I honestly don't have enough time to do all of it. Here's kind of where it's at. A lot of things have changed throughout the months too, but I think I've got it to a spot that I like. So let's get into it. Also, keep in mind, I am a first year, so I still don't know the best way to like organize things or I might not have things in the best spot. I'm still learning and adjusting as I go, but this is just where it's at right now. <laughs> it is huge and I'm so grateful for such a big room. I would show you guys the door. It's really cute. It says this is our happy place, but it has all their names on it. So I'm above my door. I have this sign that says, I had the best day with me today as they're leaving the classroom. If you go to your left after you come in, you will see our cubby space. So this is what it looks like. So the quote up there says, you can do hard things. This is like miscellaneous art things and extra snacks that I can't fit in the cabinet. But each of them have their own cubby. This is a phonics folder that they have. So they just keep in here. They have random stuff everywhere. And then they each have a little um name tag like this i did velcro and next year i will not be doing velcro because like for example this person's hers is gone and they keep moving each other's and they keep falling off so i will not be using velcro next year probably and then above we have these cabinets so this one these by the way are not very organized play-doh and extra snacks and bubbles and then this one's strictly snacks where I keep all of our snacks. I have not yet to run out of snacks this year. It's amazing. These two are like indoor recess type activities. And, and then these two are crafts. <laughs> this one will not shut. Um, so literally just a bunch of random stuff or like extra school supplies. That's where I've been keeping my bulletin boards. So turning, I have a bathroom in my class. Okay, I'm gonna put this in 0.5 because it's just gonna make it so much easier to show you guys um, from a wide angle. So just know that it's not this big. <laughs> bathroom in my classroom, which has been amazing. And then I store a bunch of extra wipes and tissues and stuff up there. Having a bathroom has been amazing because they're not constantly going into the hallway so I can keep an eye on them better and I can use it and I don't think it's that gross. They're honestly pretty good. So I love having a bathroom. <laughs> All right, now we're standing in the cubby space. It is in a wide angle, so it's not this big, but it is pretty big. I have this Amazon rug, literally obsessed with this. If you need a classroom rug, it's amazing. It has 24 circles on it and I have 21 kids, so it's perfect. They have a little bit of wiggle room, but especially kindergartners, they fit perfectly in these little circles. I think first and second would also fit pretty good. So I'm going to um, link my Amazon storefront in the description and it'll have everything that I talk about in this video that is from Amazon because a bunch of my things are. Um, so if you want links to any of the products that I have or my Amazon classroom favorites, they will be linked below. This is our smart board. So we just got these. They're Philip TVs and they're touchscreen and uh, connect wirelessly. They're amazing. I love it. Over here, I have my voice level signs, signals, and you can press the button. Honestly, don't use them as much as I thought I would, but they are really good for the beginning of the year to teach them voice levels. They do keep falling off though, and this one's like out of battery. It's up there, so whenever I press my doorbell, but that's where it's connected. And then I have my hand signals. These are the hand signals they use if they need to go to the bathroom, get a drink, need to sharpen their pencil, or get a tissue. My janitor just put these up, but he put the little times around my clock. And then this is kind of where I teach from. So this is like my little teacher chair. It was just an extra chair we had at home. I honestly would love a new one, but that's not a priority right now. I have a pillow and a little step stool for my feet. And then this is my newest addition to my classroom and I'm so excited. So I just set this up and I haven't actually taught with it yet, um, but I'm so excited for it. So it goes up and down and I just put it, this is my height. Um, normally this computer is all the way over here at this table 
and it's just annoying when I have to like go back and forth. So I'm excited to get to teach from this. And then also my document camera, I used to just plug it into my this computer and I would sit at my desk. So it'll just be a lot nicer to actually be standing when I'm using my document camera. And then these are the popsicle sticks that I use um, to pull, to call on people randomly. This is also from Amazon, I love this. My standing desk is from Amazon as well. And then I have this little whiteboard easel type thing. Um, the school also did provide this for me. I love it because I don't have a whiteboard over here, so it is nice to have when I need to write something. However, it is really big and annoying and I, it takes up so much space. And it are two really big shelves if you watch classroom setup. There was a third one in here, you know all the drama behind that. Um, <laughs> the curtain does not look nice, I'm sorry. But I did cover them with curtains because it just looks really messy and I'm not really going to go through it because it's not really important. But this thing has all of my curriculum and stuff in it. <laughs> this wallpaper looks so bad. I honestly should just take it off. But my plan was to put a bunch of pictures of me and my family on there. Don't know if I'm going to get to that. Um, hate that thing as well because it doesn't shut. I literally do not like this wall at all. But I don't know what to do because this was all provided for me. I have a moment for the desk. So cute been changing out my bulletin boards each season this one's going to say in our 2024 era it is not finished I will put a picture on the screen of what it will look like when it's done um, I just didn't have time to finish it and I needed to film this video so so sorry but that is what it will look like and this is for the month of January I love it cute little fringy things down here and this wallpaper stuff actually looks decent on my desk it is from uh, Target I have this sign from Hobby Lobby that says it's a great day and then I have my turn and tray that is <laughs> not laminated so it's falling apart probably should make a new one this is my turn and tray right now it has extra coffee paper in it <laughs> I have a cute little plant from Ikea that it looks kind of messy but I actually am obsessed with this thing it's this little desk organizer that is also from Amazon it's amazing it has a little drawer I keep tiny sticky notes in it just kind of like holds all of my random things that I have and need I have a microwave fridge and pencil sharpener up here i do not let them sharpen their own pencils because they always break it over here sorry my trash is full i was working with on a lot of stuff this is my 10 drawer cart that i use i put copies in here so these are the copies for this monday and even next monday i put the date on them with sticky notes and all stuff that these are like my master copies and it's stuff i need to eventually file and put away i have my copy pot in my teacher toolbox obsessed with this teacher toolbox guys i like this one a lot better than that typical black one that a lot of people use this one is so much better again i will have it in my amazon storefront um and these little cards are from etsy if you want these let me know and i can give you the link this bookshelf they did provide for me but then me and my dad painted them white during classroom setup you probably remember that if you watched um, and I just have some, I have a mailbox because they always want to give me drawings. And so I just tell them to put it in my mailbox and eventually I'll go through it. And then I have a bunch of extra pencils here, some files, headphones. Again, it's not super organized, but it's lovely AC unit that is literally huge. And I don't know why it's so big, but it does come in handy. And this is where I'll keep like early finisher type stuff. This is a really cute sign my mom bought me and I want to put it on this pillar, but I just have not gotten to it. So this is my math tub station. So for one of my stations for math is called math tubs. And it's basically just a worksheet working on whatever we've been working on that week. And it's differentiated, so blue is my high group, green is my on the grade level, and then red are like my lower babies. And so they can be doing an activity that is meeting them where they're at. Our iPad cart. I had an extra desk in here, so I use it as my word workstation and Play-Doh is kept in there. Um, and they do sight word Play-Doh stuff there. And then we have this wall. So I have my class jobs here, which I actually need to switch them out. I have my shapes up here and then this is my word wall so i have all of our sight words that we have learned so far and refer back to this whenever they need to know how to spell a sight word blocks they are obsessed with those they came in my classroom for my school um they're obsessed with those during indoor recess and then this is kind of like my manipulative student center type thing i have clipboards whiteboards are down here it's honestly it gets really messy but these bins are from amazon and i love them there's counters, cubes, counting bears, shapes, magnet tiles, things like that. In my calm down corner, obsessed. Um, the chair is from Amazon, so I can link that. This is from Ikea, it was like 10 bucks. 
all of the toys are also from Amazon and my little lamp is from Amazon. One of my subscribers got it for me during classroom setup, so I love it. Thank you. I actually feelings poster is from Michaels, I believe. It's so cute. Birthday display. And we come to the back wall. I'm not even gonna fix the drawers because this is just realistic for me, but they're always falling and my kids do fix them actually. And you can tell that some of my drawers have labels and some do not. It is not as organized as I would like it to be, but it's whatever. Um, so this is just kind of shared supplies like extra crowns, glue sticks. There's markers in there, glue, post-its, pencils, things like that. And then these drawers are from, I think they're from Michaels. And they are, it's the lost and found for our crowns. So anytime we find a crown on the floor, you can come put it back here. And then when they don't have a certain color, they can come check and see if there's one back here. It has been a game changer. I literally love it because they're always like, I don't have a red. I don't have a blue. And I'm like, go check the lost and found. And if there's not one, then you borrow from a friend. <laughs> it's really too complicated to go through, but it's basically just a bunch of stuff I use for centers um, because this is my teacher table back here. So there's like reading games and reading activities. And then that side's mainly math. My teacher table recently got these stools and I love them. They're from Ikea. These little brown cushions are from Amazon though, so I'll have those linked below. The kids love them and I did Velcro them on because they kept falling off and they were always on the floor. Spinny thing from Target dollar spot. Um, just with stuff that I use for teacher table, we are always using whiteboards and markers. And then these little fingers I got during Halloween and also to put on your pointer finger right to help them read. It's I am in the market for a new teacher table chair. That is probably the next thing I'm gonna buy. I hate this chair. Here's a little overview of my windows. Literally love them. I have a three-tiered cart that I don't use effectively, honestly. As my don't bug me slug, which I love this thing. Again, I will link this below. Um, so if you just like tap his eyes together, then he turns on. And so if my slug is on, that means it's my you can't bug me at the teacher table. Um, and so if they come up to the teacher table, I'll just like hold this up to them and then they usually go away. It is amazing. And you can turn it off like that and they love it. I think we named it Doug, Doug the Slug. And then we have my library, which honestly has seen better days. It is kind of gross right now. Rug, it's from Amazon. This thing I got from Ikea and I use it to differentiate in my center. So like the, the pillow, which just kind of sits there. Sometimes it's on the floor, but they can use it when they're reading in here. The little read sign, those letters are from Hobby Lobby. One of my parents just bought me this cute little couch from Amazon. I'm obsessed with it. It is for toddlers, but like it fits kindergartners perfectly fine. Um, and just one of them can sit there. And we honestly, I thought we'd have issues with them fighting over it, but we just set a timer. One person gets five minutes, the other person gets five minutes, and it's been great. Read signs I got off Etsy. This lamp is from Amazon. Love it. Same bookshelf that um, the school provided for me, but painted it white. And I just have extra snacks. These are from our Christmas party, and I just haven't put them away yet. <laughs> Top is supposed to be organized by level, but I think they've kind of ruined it. And the bottom is read alouds. I have little stickers or like labels to put on the book bins, and I just have not gotten to that. Um, this is my star student display. I have a star student every uh, week. It's There's a new one every week, and so they get to display their pictures. And then normally this is cleared off, and they get to display their favorite toys. Here's the overview of my whiteboard. If you watched Classroom Setup, you probably saw it was such a process to put all of this up. It was insane. My learning intentions have been up here, but I'm kind of transitioning into a new system for that, so they are not there right now. I have our morning meeting station. So I have, we do our days of school countdown, we talk about the day, our schedule, and then we talk about the calendar. And we talk about what day of the week it is, what yesterday was, what tomorrow will be. And we have a person that tells us what the weather is. I did put January up there, but this is December. <laughs> table was holding that other computer that I told you about. Um, I have this cute little white desk at my house that I'm hoping to put right here and make it my new writing station. And then this table I'm hoping to put over there in place of that desk as my like word workstation. Not very organized. It's just kind of miscellaneous type things. And then we have my closet door. My 120 chart is on the floor, but it normally goes right here. It fell down. I need to put it back up. <laughs> See how prepared I am for this tour. Um, and then this is a new addition to my classroom. One of my parents got this for me off my wish list for Christmas. And it's just a headphone holder. It is a lifesaver, let me tell you. Um, they can't fit in one pocket, but just put one ear in each and I put a little number on it and now, their headphones fit in here um, because they were always getting, they were always on the floor. Headphone cords were always hanging out of their desk and I was just tired of it. So now they all get here and they were breaking 
because they kept getting thrown out of their desk. So hopefully we won't have headphones break as much now. And then we have our affirmation mirror. Hey guys, it just says I am with a bunch of cute little affirmations. And we have this old pencil sharpener that they're obsessed with and they always touch it and it's broke and I don't know why it's in here, it's annoying. It's just my desk. Um, so right now it's in this fun little U shape. I love it. I just switched this right before we went to Christmas break. And I think I'm going to keep it for at least the month of January. And then I'll probably put them back into table groups of four. Um, but for now I really like it because I can walk around both to the sides and see what they're doing. And then we are back at the door. So that was a pretty quick overview. But that was my classroom. I went through that kind of fast. But I feel like I didn't really need to go into super that many more details. Um, oh, and he hung up my number line. If you have any questions about my classroom, let me know in the comments. Or if you wanted to see something that I didn't show, let me know. And I can. But I think I got all of it. But yeah, that is kind of the state of my classroom right now. I love it. When I came back from winter break, I honestly was just so joyful and happy to be here. I missed it so much. And like this is my home. And this is where I'm creating a, a positive environment for my students and i love being here so there's still going to be so many changes made to my classroom but i will try to keep you guys updated uh, with those changes as i continue to make videos but this was the first video for 2024 at my goal is to host every week on mondays at 8 or 9 a.m haven't decided yet let me know if you like 8 a.m or 9 a.m or if you want even earlier if you want to like be able to watch it while you're getting ready on monday morning let me know but make sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok as i also try to post on there. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!